Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fours. We are playing with the French Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. So, last episode, we invaded in Tiberia and were pretty darn close to getting them knocked out of the conflict. That's what we're going to focus on here early in this episode. Uh, the other theaters we're fighting in is, of course, here in Brazil, where we've had some difficulty, lost that province there, about to try and move a division over there, and I hope that they should be able to uh, stop uh, whoever's moving here. Probably not. Uh, they got, I think they got tanks moving there, so I don't think we're going to get there in time. Uh, but we're trying. Uh, over here, we're, we're winning that defense. Uh, as far as the... Uh, we'll have to wait. Uh, we'll have to wait to see how that looks once we've let a few days roll, as far as our uh, if we're winning in the sky. So we're going to be invading here. A few people have asked me why I'm, I'm bothering doing this, adding another country to uh, that we have to defeat. And that's largely because I want control of uh, Eastern Africa without having to invade it. I don't want to have to do a naval invasion in East a Africa to get control of this, because this is all communist territory here, like all this is communist territory. Uh, so if we want to get control of that and not let you know the Japanese or Australian factions get control of it, then we need to do that now. Uh, so what I'd like to do is if we, we got these guys knocked out, then we can invade straight into this territory, and then all this would be in our occupation uh, in our hands so that we could take that in the peace treaty, or at least make it really expensive for anybody else to take it. Uh, so that's why we're doing that. Uh, I went ahead and moved most of the planes out of Africa. Uh, I've got more planes, I got two air wings that I moved up to here, and they're gonna go in an air base that we're building right here. Uh, but the rest have moved uh, to other locations. Uh, I brought some fighters over here, since I know we were losing some naval bombers there, and then I brought more planes over to here, and they should be making their way here now. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let this roll, guys. And Oh, yes, that's right. We're attacking over here. Uh, we should probably get this started now. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get... Let's see how we want to do this. All right, so we have these guys going up this way. Trying to finish up here. Uh, let's go ahead and have one of these divisions go this way. One go here. And then these guys go here. And we'll see how that looks. All right, looks like we would be able to win there. And Iran did refuse our offer. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Well, as far as them joining our faction, I, I don't really think we'll be able to get them into the faction until the Soviets declare war. But if they did uh, declare war in Iran, I do believe that they'll join our faction. All right. Somebody also asked me about India, uh, getting them into the faction. Uh, India is already in a faction. They're in the Allies still, and they are in fact the only member of the Allies. They're the the leader there. Uh, so. I don't know how that ended up happening, I guess, when all the countries left the Allies. India was the only one that remained, and then, of course, Britain left, and they were the leader, and so that resulted in the in the Indians taking over control there. All right, so let's go ahead and go here and get these guys cut off from supply, and uh, then we're just going to keep on going up this way. Uh, with these guys here, what we could do is attack here, just lock those guys down. Can't let them get out of there. Uh, we're still trying to cut off here, but... Having a little bit of difficulty. There's a lot more troops here now. Uh, let's go ahead and move this guy in forward here. Uh, of course, we still need to do some attacks over this way, so let's go ahead and try and get these troops here wrapped up and destroyed. Uh, and it looks like this division is going to fail miserably at this. I'm going to leave. Let's have these guys all come here. And this guy can go over here. All right, excellent. So just trying to wrap up all these little pockets that we've we've created here. I'm uh, just trying to get this all taken care of, uh, get all these troops destroyed. Uh, so these guys are actually having to fight somebody there. We'll keep it going because it does look like we're about to win there. I uh, got some more divisions cut off all throughout this territory here. So let's go ahead and get them destroyed uh, like so. All right, so all these look green. And then these guys here can go ahead and push forward into these victory points and hopefully all the way over to the uh, Portuguese capital. Uh, which is currently the capital of Iberia, since we have taken over their, their old capital. So we've wrapped up all of this here, so that is excellent. So let's go and take the divisions that are all up here, make sure they're going over this front, because I think some of them were going over here, which I think was a bit unnecessary. Uh, we actually want them on this side. Oh, that's all messed up, isn't it? Yeah, we want them on this side, guys. Uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. It looks like an absolute disaster zone, though. <laughs> so we'll try and... Uh, Fix that the best we can. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on there. Uh, so these guys are going to cut the, these divisions off here. Let's go ahead and have him go forward. And so we can try and get these guys wiped out. And we beat these uh, British divisions here. Let's just take a look. Uh, looks like we're going to be just short of beating them. Let's, nope, can't go that way. Uh, okay, we'll just have him sit there then. This guy's going to go all the way across here. And then we'll get him wiped out. 
All right, so uh, these troops are taking them out. Looks like he's not doing so well. We'll have him go over here instead. Let's go and have this guy come over here and take all this territory for us. All right, yeah, this is looking good. And uh, we should have them destroyed very, very soon, guys. Should just be a matter of time here. Uh, so let's take a look and see if we got any attacks we can do over here. Uh, we're gonna attack them here and this division. And let's see if we can. I don't really want to attack across the river if we can avoid it. This is what we're gonna do. Let's attack with these guys here. Have them come over here as well. And then if we attack with these two, okay, that looks like that should be a win. All right, excellent. All right, so let's go and push forward here. Not really much able to do much around the capital there, unfortunately. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and keep pushing forward and taking these victory points, guys. All right. Uh, so this should be wrapped up soon. Let's go and dip over to some of our other territory. Also noticing some things we need to pay attention to up here. Uh, we've got a couple military factories we need to get assigned. Uh, let's just take a look, see what we're short on again. Artillery's still pretty bad. That looks like that's what we're doing the worst on. However, naval bombers is also looking kind of low, so we're gonna put those under naval bombers. And then let's take a look at the, well, we'll do the naval battles first that are around this area where we sunk American convoys that are coming through here. Uh, so uh, it looks like this attack is losing, so we'll just go ahead and stop that uh, and see what else we can do here. Uh, looks like, did we lose territory? I don't even know what happened over here. I'm not entirely sure exactly what happened there, but whatever. I'll leave that as it is. But it does look like we are losing hey, some territory here and there. Uh, we are winning there. Looks like both of these guys are getting over there, so that's excellent news. Uh, there's a loss right there. Attention. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're holding out here, despite the fact that they've sent, uh, you know, a bunch of American divisions on over there. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here, see if there's anything we can do. Uh, looks like we did win there. It wasn't really intentional, uh, that attack, but we had a division moving over there. Uh, still trying to get the seven divisions over here to entrench up. Uh, and then we're looking pretty good over here. We did lose this territory right there, which is unfortunate because that was a uh, level two fort. Uh, but yeah, nothing really to be done about that. Let's just keep these guys here. I guess we'll just have to let them take that. Whoa. Some people have been kind of worried about us losing here, guys. I'm not, not too concerned because even if we have to pull back, then yeah, we lose this territory. Uh, but we can pull back here and this almost impossible for them to break through here. If we pull back in time, I mean. If we take too long to pull back, then uh, we'll be in a bad position. So we gotta make sure that uh, if we really feel like we're gonna lose there, uh, that we've gotta pull those divisions back. Uh, sunken American uh, submarine there. Remember the Americans have a lot of submarines. I think the Americans, I might be mixing this up with the, the Portuguese series, but on one of these series, the Americans have a ton uh, of, of submarines. Uh, so this guy's going here. I want this guy, well, he's going over there to take the capital, so he'll just go and grab that for us real quick. And then just kind of grab all these victory points, man. Uh, to get these uh, guys to hurry up and capitulate. Let's go and attack over this way now. Ready to get them destroyed. We're going to attack with these guys too. And uh, these guys can come over to this front now. Try to make sure that they don't uh, liberate them. Uh, we get there in 23 hours. They get there in 22 hours. So we're going to have to attack them while this guy comes on over here. Uh, and we can go and move over to that victory points. All right, looking pretty good. Uh, still trying to wrap this up here. It's taking some time. Uh, and a lot of these guys are also across the river right now, so... Not uh, good for attacks there. And yeah, our medium tanks are just you know, moving very rapidly throughout their territory. It's gonna go up this way now. Hopefully should have this done very, very soon, guys. Uh, we ha They haven't launched any of those naval invasions they had assigned around this area. They just haven't, they haven't launched them or we just haven't seen them. Uh, but they haven't been successful, that's for sure. Uh, so we sunk some more Soviet convoys over here. All right, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, it's just those, I think it's just these few uh, fronts that we're fighting on right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one here, which we can actually support this. I really want to win there and keep that province because that actually reduces the size. Okay, it doesn't reduce the size of the, the front. Uh, we need to keep those guys here. Uh, but it does uh, keep the front the same size. Uh, so we'll see if there's any other areas where we can do that, where we think we'll be able to win because they're looking a lot stronger up along here than they were before. Uh, so we need to... Go ahead and get these factories and dockyards assigned. Uh, so we're gonna put these into, got them going into naval bombers. Uh, could always get a bit more close air support, uh, but I really feel like naval bombers are what we're shortest on right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put two factories into that. And then let me take a look at the artillery. We have 30 going to artillery. Let's go up to 35. Uh, I just really wanna get that done. And all the new factories can get assigned there. And we do have to get these dockyards assigned too. Uh, so let's take a look at where we want them. 
All right, so we have the uh, cruisers uh, up to nine. Looks like the destroyers only have four each. We're trying to replace all these lost submarines. We should probably put all the new dockyards into submarines because, good God, our submarine situation is really bad, guys. We have lost an absolute ton of submarines. Uh, trying to get this guy to join here, but I don't think he's going to be able to join as long as they're in uh, combat, unfortunately, so we're going to have to wait until at least one of those two gets out of combat. Seems like they're always in combat, though, because we're, we're constantly sinking their, their convoys and such. Uh, so we did finish up that. Uh, excellent. Uh, we've won there as well. Just kind of push them forward all across here. Uh, looks like we have taken the capital. They haven't capitulated yet, though, uh, which is interesting and surprising. Uh, I thought we would have had them capitulate by now, but whatever. Let's go ahead and have these guys just go across here so we'll get them uh, cut off from supply. And uh, let's see where else we can do some, some attacks here. Uh, they have a lot more divisions up along the front now, so it's a little bit harder for us to, to get this done. Uh, we need to finish up these. This is going to free up a ton of divisions here. So if we just finish this up, just make sure all these guys come on over here. It looks like this uh, green front is not long enough, so let's go ahead and extend them across here. At the very least, up to this area here. All right, so we'll get them doing that. Uh, let's make sure some of these get their butts assigned over there, because I really feel like the, the divisions we have here are probably adequate to getting those last few divisions destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here, guys. Let's get this done. All right, excellent. So this has been taken. These guys have been cut off, and there we go. That's it. That's all we needed to do, and they have capitulated. They had a ton of equipment, so we got gotten all of that. Uh, and now that's going to free up, after we wipe out these Soviet divisions, of course, uh, that's going to free us up to uh, move these two armies elsewhere. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've done over here. I'm glad we got Iberia done early in the episode. I expected we would. Uh, we lost another goddamn submarine. Uh, damn. Uh, but yeah, we got it done really early. Uh, let's take a look what this is. Another submarine loss for just a convoy sunk. Now those are troops, of course, but, but yeah, overall we are having a rough time here, guys. Having a rough time. It does look like we're about to lose here again, uh, which is unfortunate because we, we just gained that province. All right. Uh, so let me just take a look. Is this guy started to move? Is there is there like a supply issue? No, it's just... Uh, Okay, I see what's going on here. He's just not taking the railroad. Uh, so let's go and take a look at uh, our territory here. Make sure we're not, you know, losing too much here. Uh, obviously, we don't want to get cut off here, and this is uh, lo what it looks like is going to happen uh, is that we're going to get cut off here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we might want to change this up again. Then uh, it looks like we do have a land fort there. We got some mountains here. Looking for a way to protect this territory here. Like this one here, we've already lost, uh, so there's no way to keep that. Uh, but we could protect this territory here, but we'd have to keep that province. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, because I think we're about to lose here, and I don't really think we'll be able to hold this. Yeah, you can see we're having some difficulty here. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and reduce this, Yeah, because we did lose there, and that's a fortified province, so it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and have a... Uh, these divisions here, and that's 13. I don't think we're going to need all of them over there. And then we're just going to change this up here. And I'm trying to see the best way to do this. Let's see, we have a fort there, right? Yeah, we do have a fort there. So if we extended this like so, how many more divisions would they need? Uh, so this is a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. So they need 12 divisions there. Uh, so we'd have to take five from here, which would only leave eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be just enough to cover the territory we've given them. Uh, just, yeah, just barely enough. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the, yeah, this is, this is what we're going to have to do, guys. All right, so let's go and have these guys come here. Uh, I think everybody here should be assigned. Nope, not quite. All right, so let's go and make sure all these guys get assigned to here. We got it up to 12 divisions and a total of 8 here. So it's what we got, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, we don't have to pull back from here too much. Uh, but the idea here is if we do pull back, we're going to try and pull back like across here. We'll see, guys. We'll see if we can hold it or not. Uh, we do have a decision available here. And this is yeah, one of those damn recruit ones. Uh, but overall, the, the Indochina situation, I'm, I'm not too worried about because... Uh, I really just want to stay on the defense there. If we could just stay on the defense and keep most of our resources, I'll be happy with that situation. I'm really not looking to uh, push forward there and kind of let the Japanese and the Australians do that for us. Uh, but let's go and get the rest of these uh, Soviet divisions destroyed. 
to get them all taken care of, man. And they are all cut off from supply, so it should be a relatively easy uh, effort here, getting these guys destroyed. Uh, let's go and have all these guys go here. Alright, excellent. Just make sure any divisions that we got are helping us out. Uh, let's go and have them attack there. I don't think they're going to win, but uh, we've got more divisions coming. Let's go and have uh, these guys that are here come over to this front. Alright, excellent. And then these guys here can just wipe them out. It looks like we actually have that done already. Excellent. Oops, I shouldn't have done it that way. Alright, let's get all these guys kind of moving around. And hopefully we should have this done very, very soon. Alright, so that's been taken. Alright, so remember we have 10 divisions going over there, and, and this is a ton of Soviet divisions that we are getting destroyed here, guys. A ton of Soviet divisions, so this is going to be heavy losses for them. Alright, so let's get this taken, and then all the divisions can move over to these two fronts, though I would like to get... Let's have one of these guys come on over here, just to try and get that taken real quick. Uh, looks like the divisions that have left here... Uh, we might have sunk, or maybe we just sunk the destroyers. Yeah, we just sunk the destroyers. Okay, uh, so they're going to try to reconnect these guys. We cannot have that happen. Uh, so let's see if we can't stop them here. Yeah, cannot have them uh, connect these guys, because these guys do have a port, uh, while they do not. Uh, let's take a look see what all this is about. Uh, just join in wars, which we're going to tell them all no for now. And uh, we will take the non-aggression packs, though. Yeah, we'll take it from Jamaica. And that is all, folks. Okay, uh, so... Sunk the destroyer there. And, uh... Lost a lot of planes, again. We continue to lose a lot of our naval bombers uh, in the, the channel. Uh, it's, we, we've got 600 fighters there, guys, but clearly it's just not enough. Uh, did we lose here? No, we actually won there, so we're holding it. Uh, I'd love to see if there's anywhere else where we can push forward. We can, in fact, push forward here, so let's go ahead and do that, because there's nobody there to stop us. Uh, so only reason, I don't see any reason not to go ahead and attack there. Uh, but everywhere else, not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Is there anything we can do here? There is. So let's go ahead and pull back on how much more... Oh, we have a, a ton of excess, so we can probably... Oh, because we just took over Portugal, that's right. Uh, so we can actually pull back all of these. We'll need to trade for, well, we'll trade for three from Bolivia, but that's it. That's fine. Uh, so as far as the oil goes, um, we're going to need to step up uh, our trading for oil uh, because we do not have enough. Uh, let's go ahead and go a bit more from Iran, or get some from Iran, I should say. Because, yeah, we're having a lot of trouble with our fuel right now. Uh, so that looks good. Let me just dip back over here and see how things have gone with our adjustments here. It does look like we are about to lose right there, which is a shame because we actually have this air base here, which is the reason why I wanted to keep that. Uh, yeah, we are having some difficulty here. What we might need to do is pull back to a more defensible uh, line here. Because overall, yeah, we're having some difficulty holding this. So what I'm going to do Continue attack. is let's go ahead and get... Because, uh, again, we're really just wanting to stay on defense here. Uh, so let's give that up. I know it's a, a mountain province, but we need to decrease the amount of provinces that we're currently covering. I'm trying to see the best way to do this. Okay, it looks like you have to go across there no matter what. Uh, so let's go ahead and have, I like that we're holding that, uh, but yeah, I think it's just going to be too many provinces. So what we might have to do is send them all back here. We'll let him continue fighting there, but yeah, I think that all these guys here are going to have to come on over to this front. Uh, so that'll be eight divisions to cover one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. It's not great, guys. Not great. Uh, we do have our planes here. They're going to have to move. Um... I want to say we're building another airbase. Maybe not. Let's just take a look and see how we're doing. We could also get the radar stations here, which would be pretty helpful. We have some there, but uh, obviously that's not helping us. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them. Um, God, how do we want to do this? we just go here, and I think that should provide radar coverage up here. Maybe I'm... Yeah, maybe not. I'm just worried if we build it here, we're going to lose this state. If we lose that city there, and then the radar would be in their hands, which I don't want. Uh, so we're not going to build it there. Let's go ahead and build that up. And then we're going to go ahead and get, try and get, see this airbase is right there. So we're going to want to build the airbase. God, I don't know where they're located in these states. We'll try and build one there and see where it's located. Let's see if that's in our hands. And hopefully we didn't just build an airbase for the enemy. Uh, so 
because uh, we're clearly going to lose this air base here, guys. Yeah, there's there's no way we're going to be able to keep that. All right. So troops trying to pull back. Again, I think we're going to lose uh, this right here. Uh, but we didn't actually need to hold that. What we could do, I think I was just trying to hold it for the air base. So what we could do is just have it go like so. And where is this one going? So he's going over there because that one's going over there. Okay, I got it. All right, so that's just how the way it's going to have to look, guys. Yeah, these guys are clearly going to lose here. Let's go ahead and have him uh, fall back, retreat. And let's see what we sunk over here. We got some more convoys sunk, lost more planes, of course. And uh, yeah, the Soviet convoys were tearing those up, man. Especially, uh, also uh, particularly tearing up those American convoys that are attempting to bring troops on over here to Brazil. Uh, looks like somebody did get there before us, but we are winning, so I'm going to keep the fight going. Looks like we have some assistance from our allies there, and that's largely why we're winning there. Okay, uh, so we're still trying to wipe out this little bit of territory here. It looks like we did get this here done. Uh, so now it's just a matter of taking the, uh, the naval base here so that these divisions can't escape. And uh, then this guy will just go and destroy that division that's there. Okay, and then we'll have Iberia completely uh, wiped out. Uh, all the divisions here completely destroyed. And uh, then we'll be able to... There's nobody here to stop this. Let's just go and attack. We're going to send these guys elsewhere. Haven't exactly decided yet where we're going to send them. A lot of different options available. All right, so we're about to get the port, and that'll result in four British divisions Bye. ready to be destroyed. All right. Let's just take whoever's here and get them all attacking. Try and hurry up and finish that up. Uh, so we've taken that port there. Just about took in that, and then... As soon as we're done here, we better get these guys assigned elsewhere. All right, so Iberia is now completely in our control, guys, uh, and uh, we have succeeded where Napoleon the first succeeded. He did also conquer uh, Iberia as well. However, uh, it didn't go so well for him after that. The British then launched several invasions, and then the the you know French army just ended up becoming bogged down in Iberia, and it became a very costly affair for them. Uh, so we sunk 19 British ships. Five of those are light cruisers. All right, doing a great job, but still not really getting those capital ships, man. I mean, we sunk a few here and there, but uh, for the most part, we're still having some difficulty getting the capital ships sunk. And we're just losing so many goddamn submarines, man. Ah, oh, good God. Yeah, the submarines, we've just been losing a ton of them. Uh, we need to see what's sinking them. Is it planes or ships? It's ships. So if we moved, let me just see how many, oops, how many uh, bombers they have in this area. Not really any, it's just fighters. So if we moved our own ships into here, which is, is going to be risky, but I think we're going to have to do it, guys. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get uh, these guys patrolling here. And then we're just going to have all of our ships. Uh, we're going to have them move into the English Channel. I know this is a, a risky area to fight in. But we're going to go ahead and increase our coverage here. Three different zones. And uh, just see how this ends up going, uh, because we need to protect these submarines that we keep losing and try and get control of the seas here. Now, they're going to be able to bomb us from here, so this is why I said it's going to be pretty risky. Uh, but we can also now send naval bombers over here, which is what I was waiting on. So let's go ahead and find some naval bombers to send over there. Overall, we've lost a ton of naval bombers, and so we don't really have many. Uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, enemy ships in the Mediterranean anymore, so I think we could actually move out of here. Uh, yeah, more than likely. Let me see, did we finish here? We did. Uh, so what we're going to do, I think we're still building this up, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check here. Uh, yeah, we're still building this up one more, one more level there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the fighters that are here, move them over to here. They're going to be covering there. We won't have them fly just yet. Uh, the naval bombers that are here, I feel like we don't need uh, this many naval bombers here. I mean, we haven't sunk anything in a while here. Now, you do still have the Soviets uh, that can come out of the Black Sea. So we still have those submarines and stuff that we have to worry about. Uh, so I guess we'll keep like 100 naval bombers in each one of these. So that means that this one here can go ahead and be split. So we're going to split them up and then send one of them uh, over here somewhere. Uh, I think we're going to send them. I mean, we're losing a ton here in the English Channel, so that's a problem. Uh, so we want to send a bit more over there, but we also need some over here. So let's go ahead and start with that and see how we're looking. Uh, and we, we just need to really get rid of like one of our naval bomber wings to kind of replace all the ones that we've lost over here. Uh, so we've got these guys here. What I think we're going to do is have them... Uh, we're going to reorganize this. 
just take a hundred and then these ones here we'll just have to destroy them so that they can go back into the stockpile and help us replace some of the planes that we've already lost uh, so we'll get another naval bomber wing there to help us out and let me see how these guys are doing covering here uh, looks like we could actually merge these two just gotta get them merged and let me just see what else we can do so what we could do is send so these guys are in the bay right yeah they're in the bay of biscay uh, we also have the close air support that are helping us out here bombing what i think we're going to do i mean we're still getting a lot of ships sunk there let's move these guys over to here uh, so we make sure we cover that end right there that last province right there and i think that's good now we just have to move all these planes here into other locations let's just take a look see where they're most needed uh so we are fighting uh some enemy fighters here we have control of the skies but getting another fighter wing over there would be incredibly helpful so let's go ahead and do that uh we're just going to take uh, these guys here and get them moving into whatever airbase we have we got one here all right so that makes sure that we hold uh control of the skies there uh here we do could move the fighters here i suppose that's what we'll do let me just get uh these guys here move them on over here just again make sure that we control the skies over here and could have the 400 yeah that looks good we'll move some more close air support over here i don't know if they'll be able to reach i guess we'll find out uh, let's go ahead and get these guys moving over to here, and we'll see if they can reach or not. If they they should have the range, hopefully. I guess we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, so uh, the rest of our close air support and fighters are probably gonna move over to here. Though we could focus entirely on the invasion of the British. You know what? I kind of want to get them knocked out. I think that would that might be what we end up doing, guys. Let's go ahead and start getting some recon on them, and then we're just gonna go ahead and move our. Uh, all of our other planes over here as well. So we're going to protect them in southern England. I don't know if that'll be enough fighters. Probably not. Uh, and then what we can do is just focus on, on bombing these guys for now. Just for now. Uh, bombing their ships. Because we do have to get control of the channel if we want to be able to do the invasion. Uh, so we'll bomb there. We could also bomb over here where we haven't started yet. Uh, with the closed air support. Again, because we do have the naval bomber shortages. Uh, so that's a problem. Uh, let's go here. And again focus on naval strikes we can go and start hitting their ports up too maybe we'll try and do a little bit of that uh so let's just take a look and see i think we have some and yeah, we got tactical bombers here uh do we have any tactical bombers we could uh, use to increase their numbers here no not really just a bunch of interwar bombers which would overall make them worse uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to warsaw and then i think we're gonna go and start bombing uh them uh, the soviets here let me see where the best place to do it. Probably here. And then instead of doing close air support, we'll do some strategic bombing. See how that ends up going. And we'll probably just keep them on bombing. Well, I don't really need to bomb infrastructure. Let's bomb factories, bomb air bases. Uh, I guess we can build the, bomb the ports as well. Not too worried about the fortifications. We'll bomb the dockyards. Uh, well, no, nah, we don't really need to focus on dockyards. And that's probably good. Yeah, I guess we can build, bomb any of those if they happen to find them. All right, so they'll work on that, uh, and then let's go ahead and get some more fighters uh, into this area here, because frankly, we don't have anywhere near enough fighters over here yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this guy, move him over here, and this should hopefully allow us to get control of the skies here. We'll see. Uh, so we have more uh, close air support we can move. Uh, let's go ahead and have, once again, we're having some trouble here. Let's go ahead and have these guys come in here, and again, help with naval bombing. All our close air support are going to be doing naval bombing with the exception of the ones over here and over here. Which, how many do we have? We have 400, maybe we'll move another uh, 200 there just to try and uh, make sure we control the skies here. I don't know how many we just moved over here. Probably too many. Looks like we also, yeah, we also have these guys here, don't we? Shoot. Okay, so yeah, there's a problem there with the airbase being too small. Uh, so what we could do is just go ahead and increase the size of the airbase here. Just gonna take that up to the top, get that done. So we won't move any other planes over there since we do have uh, air base shortages. And we'll just kind of focus them all over here, I suppose. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys do close air support and we do want to move them to a near, near air base. We'll have these guys come on over here. Have them do naval strikes as well. That'll get them at the 500. You know what, actually, no, no, no. Let's change this up, guys. Uh, we're gonna have these guys go here, 
and then instead try and bomb any other ships that happen to be repairing there. I think that'd be pretty useful. Uh, so we've got that, and then we got the last close air support here. Uh, see where we want to move him and have him help us out. I feel like we have probably have enough here, uh, but we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we've got that build in. All right, let's just see where we want this guy. We're just going to move this guy to Paris for right now. Take him off in order, and let me see where we're going to need him. We've already spent enough time messing around with these damn uh, planes. All right, so we are bombing their battleships, so that's good news. And we got to get these troops moving, too, so that's another thing uh, we should do. Uh, so we're going to have, I think we might have the Green Army do the invasion. I'm not sure if that's the way we want to do this. We don't really have any other, yeah, I don't think we have any commanders that are focused on invasion, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use. These are the mountain divisions, though, uh, so they'd probably be better used probably down here to do the... Oh, okay, I know what we can do. This is what we're going to do. If we set them up to do the invasion of Britain, and then we finish up Britain, then we can have them invade from one of the ports here and strike at the oil fields there in the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. I think that'll work out nicely. Uh, so for right now, let's just set up an invasion. We'll set up probably two invasions. Uh, figure out where we want to strike. Obviously, we don't want to strike in the uh, places that they're strongest at. And we can see where the divisions are at. They have quite a few divisions there, four divisions here, and they got all those fortifications here as well. Uh, we got level three fort there, only level one there. Uh, they might not have done all the, uh, all the text just yet. Or excuse me, all the focuses that grant those. Uh, there's one here as well. So I'm just looking for the weakest locations, guys. Uh, quite a few here and level two. Yeah, we might just have to attack into... Yeah, it might not have any option here, guys, if we want to go this way. Uh, but that's clearly the small, uh, strongest location. We can't see who's here. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is set up an invasion here in... Well, Dover's the highest level for it. No, no, no. Not in Dover. Maybe here and here. I think those would be the two best locations to do this attack. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now, guys. Let's go ahead and set up some naval invasions. And we might have to adjust this. It's a possibility, guys. This won't be the best way to do it. And if that's the case, then we'll change it up. All right, and then we'll go ahead and hit right there. And so we want to go ahead and split these divisions up. I don't know how many of these ones we have. Let's go ahead and take uh, a few of them. Have them come over here. And probably a couple of the mountain ones as well. I think we have we have quite a few mountain ones. And then take some of these other guys here. Just trying to get them up to exactly 12, guys. And do we not have the invasion deck? We do not have the invasion deck. Oh, snap. All right, guys, so that's unfortunate. Um, we're going to need to get that. I didn't realize we didn't have it. All right, so for now, this is the way it's gonna look. Uh, we'll just have any divisions that are, aren't assigned here. Uh, we'll have these guys all go over to here. And then all the other ones that are here can come over to the other location for right now. We'll take those last two and move them over to here. All right, so I didn't realize we didn't have the invasion tech, so that's unfortunate. Now this red army, we're just gonna move them to Paris for right now because I'd like to use them here on the invasion of Britain. Uh, we are not protecting all these ports. We'll have to see if we even need to. We'll see if they are planning to launch any naval invasions there. Hopefully they don't. Uh, so we now have a lot more planes here, uh, so that's gonna allow us to hopefully destroy their fleet a little bit more efficiently. We're also doing the port strikes here, so we're damaging all the ships that are attempting to re uh, repair. Uh, so I guess we'll see how successful we are in that. Now remember we can hover over here and see exactly where their uh, ships are. Uh, so you can see that there's one ship waiting for repairs there. Uh, and, and maybe we want to invade somewhere in here in the north if they have all their ships there. But right now it does look like we are bombing uh, the ports that are currently attempting to repair. Uh, so we have a battle here. This is between uh, a, you know, a main you know, fleet of theirs. They do have uh, two battleships. And of course, our main fleet as well, with the Pride of the Fleets going up against each other. And I think we're about to sink their Pride of the Fleet. Looks like he's just about done. We did sink another destroyer there. Uh, they're attempting to leave, and we sunk them. So we just uh, sunk the Iberian Pride of the Fleet. And uh, we're about to get his other battleship sunk as well. So that's going very, very well for us, that battle. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the situation here. Still doing that attack there, and we're winning, so we'll keep it going. Uh, and we just got our new carrier holes. Excellent. All right, that is very good news. Uh, so let's go and see what we want to get next. Uh, we do have the destroyer uh, research bonus, so maybe we'll go for that. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. Well, hmm. 
Are we going to get a battleship one? Because I might want to just go ahead and get the battleship one. Did we finish these naval techs? Because I don't actually remember where we left off here. So we're going to get one for submarines and we're going to get one for light cruisers. So we're not going to get a battleship one. So in that case, let's just go ahead. Well, I forgot. We do need the invasion tech. So that's what we're going to get. We'll get the landing craft. It's going to be 115 days. Uh, to send that many troops, it takes a long time to, to do the planning anyway. Uh, we sunk a heavy cruiser and four destroyers. Uh, with the port strike, we're also hitting the Soviet Navy, uh, which is their uh, battleships are, are located here. Uh, so yeah, the, the port strike has been quite effective. We might even send some more planes to do that if we keep having success with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I guess we have eight going towards submarines here. Uh, I feel like we should just go to full ten towards submarines because of our severe lack of submarines, guys. Uh, it's it's bad. It's very bad. All right, so I want these guys to join here, but yeah, they can't join. What if I put them up here and then had them join? Would it let me? No, it will not let me. All right, so that's unfortunate. We'll just have to wait till the battle's actually done with. And yeah, we can just stay out of war with the Soviets and not even have to worry about this front until we get the. Uh, uh, get them destroyed over here. Uh, nice. Look at this. Yeah, this is going very well. And yeah, we sent those extra ships there, uh, or extra planes there, excuse me. Uh, we do have our ships here too, though. Uh, and yeah, we're having a lot more success now. Losing losing less planes as well. Uh, we sunk both of those battleships, three light cruisers, four destroyers, and didn't lose a single ship of our own. Uh, so that has gone incredibly well. All right, we got the bombers here now. Now we kind of got them locked down. They can't go anywhere without facing our bombers. All right, and they're, they're taking heavy attrition here as well, so that just kind of gives us the advantage. What I might go ahead and do is attack here, because uh, this would, in fact, keep the the front the same size, so there's no reason not to do that attack. Uh, so any wins we can get, we'll make sure we take advantage of them. Here would be another location to do a, a win, if, to get a good win, I mean, if we can. Uh, what we need to do is take these, oops, take these guys and have them support that attack. And then the other division that's here that I can't seem to click on, yeah, this guy, uh, let's go ahead and have him support the attack as well. Now this actually does increase the size of the front, so we we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, they're going to attack us over this way, so we're going to need to uh, help out there. We don't have any of our divisions there, uh, so that's a problem. Uh, we are sending more divisions over there. Uh, we've got divisions on their way. We get that Wurgle in February, by the way, guys. And we'd probably just go ahead and get rid of this front. We're clearly not able to use front lines right now. Uh, we've got to focus on uh, you know, defense, defensive lines. All right, so that looks good. Looks like we've locked down this here. Uh, these guys are entrenched up. Uh, keeping this uh, pro province is right here is key to keeping control of the state there. Uh, as far as our uh, air bases, let me see if there's anything we can do here just yet. It looks like we're still waiting for those planes to get over here. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just have to be patient. They're not doing any attacks over this way. Not yet, anyways. Just have to see if they uh, change that up. Overall, we can always decrease the size of this if we need to, uh, but as of right now, they're not they're not attacking us anywhere but there, uh, which they are not going to win, so don't need to worry about it. So they want to join the conflict. Not yet, guys. Later. Uh, so we sunk more convoys over here. All right, excellent. And then, of course, more success over here. Uh, three more destroyers sunk. Yeah, we're going to get the, uh, the light cruiser sunk there. Uh, we're going to get the uh, British Navy sunk in no time, man. And we are just making great progress here, uh, which will then allow us to launch our naval invasions. And when we launch the naval invasions, we will use our, our cipher uh, against the Union of Britain. We used our cipher against uh, the Spanish. However, we used it pretty late, in the, but we had already won by the time we used it, so I'd forgotten about it. So this time we want to make sure we use it uh, when we need it. Uh, so these guys are now losing. We're still winning there, uh, but what we can do is take another division and have them come over here since we're about to lose there, and I don't want to, although that's... I mean, it's hills. Yeah. So we'll try and keep it. Uh, they launch an attack all across here, and uh, we did win here. Uh, we'll have to see if he can uh, get over there before somebody else does. But yeah, now we're set to, to lose in all these locations. Uh, we did win here as well. Let's go ahead and just stretch this out then so we keep control of it. Just kind of slowly trying to take provinces, but yeah, we just don't have enough divisions over there, guys. Uh, but we do have more training up. Let's just take a look and see uh, how we're doing on getting these guys finished up here. And if we have the artillery to build more divisions, because that was the main thing. Yeah, we actually do because of uh, the Iberians capitulating. So we can go ahead and build more more troops. Uh, let me see if we can get more tank units. Oh, I deployed all those. I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. They can deploy. Uh, we need to get another line now because of that. 
Right, so let's go ahead and have. We'll take a look and see what they're lacking. Still lacking medium tanks, so we'll just have them build one for now. And let's go ahead and have them join that trained army as soon as they're done. Uh, so we've got a lot of these guys built in as well. Those are the Austrian Hungar Hungarian ones. And I'm going to get one more gone. That's fine. And then let's go ahead and get. I think we could do more of these guys. Yeah, we can do more of them. Uh, we could just deploy the ones. Oh, they don't have a line yet. All right, so we'd have to give them one or give them a location here. Let's get them over here and then just take them and put them into this trained army here. And then let's go ahead and get some more of the Grand Army ones, which the only thing that was stopping us from building these, I believe, was artillery. Looks like anti air is a little bit short too. Uh, but I do have. Let's take a look here. Yeah, now they're going to be shooting on artillery again. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I, I did put more factories towards anti-air, but maybe I didn't do enough. We got 35 going there, 5 towards support. We got 8 going here. Let's just go ahead and put them up to 10 then. Uh, I want to say motorized is doing all right. We could probably pull back on the motorized a bit. I know it's not, I mean, there's not really a lot of factories here, but we can pull back too just to get them over there towards that anti-air. And then everything else I think is solid. Yeah, let's leave it as is. Okay, got another destroyer sunk there, and we have just entered into November. Another destroyer sunk there, we lost our own submarine, damn it. Damn it, guys, keep losing these fucking submarines, man. Uh, so, can he finally join somebody? He could join this one. Let's go and have him go over there. Uh, and so, yeah, we're just waiting for getting those submarines done. Got an American destroyer sunk there. All right, excellent. Alright, so yeah, having a lot of success on getting them uh, destroyed, their, their navy. Uh, but we're also losing all of our damn submarines, so... Yeah, it's been costly, guys. We have one of their divisions here done. We're going to get these guys trained, although I think we've just been throwing them into this yellow army here. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. And we could also increase them out to this way, just in case they decide to start doing invasions. Uh, but as of right now, we only have the invasions planned for our area, so we'll just, we'll just wait until they decide, or until we get more troops in that army. And what is this here? Let's just take a look. We lost 50. 50 naval bombers. Good God. Yeah, I mean, we're just losing so many. Uh, here's a battle that's going on right now with our, our main uh, our main fleet in there. Uh, I guess this is a escort fleet because they only have light cruisers and destroyers. We sunk two light cruisers and eight destroyers. There's six left, and hopefully we'll get those uh, destroyed as well. Uh, as far as the control of the skies here, guys, yeah, we are not controlling here. We need more fighters there. Frankly, we need more fighters everywhere. Just looking for other areas where we can pull some, and I'm not really seeing. Yeah, there's really nothing. All right, so let's go and dip back over to Indo Indochina, guys, and see how the situation here is going. Make sure we're not losing the territory here. As of right now, it doesn't look like they can break through here. Plus, we're getting some help from the Japanese as well. A few divisions here and there. They might be able to win across here just because they can attack that way. We do have the river there, uh, so that's great. Uh, we did get the invisible ink. I don't know that we're going to go for any further ones for right now. Because, uh, yeah, we, we've got a lot of stuff we're trying to build. I guess we could do the cryptology one to make it harder, but that's 15 factories. We'd also go with this one if we wanted to do more propaganda and boost ideology uh, efforts. Oh yes, that reminds me. We need to take a look and see what our spies are doing. Uh, so this guy's been doing the counter intel, which you can see they're doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're red here. That is so bad. Uh, so we got him doing that. Uh, we're working on the intel network here, which we're at 77% there. Uh, with this guy, we are currently working on the diplomatic pressure in Iran. And then here we're working on building the Intel network against Moscow. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is let's go and take a look and see if there's any operations we can do. Because uh, we might want to use the spy for that. Uh, so let's see here. Do the help capture cipher that we already have that uh, for the British. You prepare the collaboration government. We can start working on that. It takes a long time. I think that's what we're going to do, guys. I've been wanting uh, to do one of these. We haven't done one yet. So let's go ahead and do it now. Uh, so... We're gonna go ahead and have, I don't know, operatives we can send here because I think it starts losing the Intel network almost immediately uh, as soon as we do it. So we'd have to pull, we could pull the one from Iran. We have worked on them for a while and it doesn't look like Russia is really inclined uh, towards uh, declaring war on them. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and get this guy here. And then for the other one, we'll get the one that's currently in Iran, which is the sexy one, right? Isn't he the sexy one? Maybe he's the sexy one. Doesn't matter. We got one of the sexy ones there. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare that. And uh should help us out. And we'll try that out because we haven't done that yet in uh, this series. 
So it should be interesting to see how that ends up working. But yeah, we're just losing so many planes, guys. But look at this, 16 ships here sunk. Uh, I mean, you gotta imagine that eventually they're not gonna have uh, much of a navy left. Uh, they gotta be down to like 200 ships now, which remember when we started this, they had like 500 something. Uh, so just take a look at their, yeah, 245 ships, guys. We sunk like half of their navy already. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, uh, so we got some offers for Lund Lease. We'll go ahead and accept the Italian one. Uh, military access offer here, we'll accept that. And then uh, non aggression pack from Cuba. And then Bulgaria wants to give us 46 uh, support equipment. We already got the support equipment from the, the Italians and they're the ones we kind of want to go independent. Uh, seven American destroyers sunk there. All right, excellent. And a American submarine sunk there. Uh, we lost two more goddamn submarines. Damn guys, we got like nothing left of our submarine fleet. Uh, that has been uh, really bad. Uh, they are doing a naval invasion of our Eastern Canada. They're in the common turn, hmm. Oh, okay, I forgot we had this little uh, island here. <laughs> I completely forgot about that island. Uh, it doesn't matter, they can have it. Uh, they're about to take it from us anyways. They can have it, guys. It would have been useful, though, if I had remembered that we had that. We could have done naval invasions here, and I think that would have been helpful. Nothing to do about it now, though. The Americans have taken it from us. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. But uh, is there another invasion? I don't think we have anything else over here. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about anything else there now, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the convoys and ships we sunk. Look at that. More American ships sunk. I don't remember what the American Navy size was. I guess we'd take a look at it, but I don't think we have enough intel. Although we might have gotten intel just from fighting them. Let's just take a look and see how they're looking. Uh, so they currently have 421 uh, right now. Okay, so 421 ships. They've got quite the Navy, guys. Uh, I don't think we're going to be uh, getting them destroyed anytime soon. Uh, we are losing here. Remember, we have to hold this uh, province here if we want to hold uh, this state, I believe. I could be wrong here, but I want to say that perhaps that is needed because uh, it's the only victory point here. I guess we'll find out, uh, but we're not losing across here. What I should have did is sent one of these divisions here because it looks like we have a surplus of divisions and had him come on over to here. It's going to be too late now. He's not going to be able to get over there in time though. Try and get him over there, but I think we're about to lose that, guys. I'm gonna send a division over there to try and help him hold it. It's gonna be—he's gonna be there in mere hours here. Let's see if that's gonna be enough. He'll get over there, and if he gets over there in time, it is green. Uh, but they can now attack behind us. We can retreat, but we gotta make sure that both of the divisions are in the battle and they are not. There we go. So we don't want to retreat until he gets there. And so let's go ahead and retreat him now. And yeah, so that's looking a lot better now. Uh, that kept us in the fight. Excellent. All right, so let's go and take a look and see uh, what we sunk again. Because uh, this is kind of our big effort here, is attempting to get the uh, Allied Navy. Or I called them Allied Navy. I meant Common Turn Navy destroyed. Uh, six destroyers sunk there. All right, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, mo mostly just waiting to be able to do the invasions of the British. And getting their uh, ships sunk and getting all those uh, techs that we need. Uh, looks like we did take that province there. We held this one as well. So, so far that went quite nicely. I think we uh, were trying to take that province there, but we we must have lost. Yeah, it looks like we lost there. All right, we do have this one here though. And uh, we also have an aggression pact offer we'll, that we'll accept. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Uh, Mainly just a waiting game until we get those texts now. And trying to hold on to the territory that we have, like here. Uh, just barely holding on there. Bye. What we need to do is send one of these divisions over to here. Make sure that we hold on to the city there, because that's key. Uh, they're not attacking up along here for whatever reason. Uh, we'll just, uh, you know, get entrenched up there. They're really focusing on the attack here, which it does look like we are about to lose here. What we can do is... Uh, get across the you know river here and, and the mountain bonus is better than the river one but there's nothing to be done about it guys hmm they're not actually here we don't really need to cover this one do we yeah we could just okay this is what we could do we don't actually need to cover here let me try and keep this province guys so let's send this guy here and then this guy here We'll see how that ends up looking. Because yeah, we're actually winning there. Alright, so we might not have to give it up. I just drew it wrong. Where I, I didn't uh, decrease the amount of provinces as much as we possibly could there. 
Uh, still winning here. Again, not really attacking across here. Uh, so that's looking uh, pretty good. Like, we might actually be able to hold it. Uh, got some more uh, convoy sunk here. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here and see if there's anything that we can do here. Uh, I'd love to get these guys cut off here, but that's going to be really challenging with the number of troops that we have here. Frankly, we're going to need to send some more. Uh, we do have a lot of troops training up, though, so we'll better send them. Uh, what we can do with these troops while they wait is if they need any training, which it looks like one division does. So we're going to get him training up. See if they have any uh, traits he can get. He does not. Uh, these guys here, they don't need any training either. Uh, they did pretty good in the battle there. Uh, we had already looked at these guys' traits. Apparently not. Okay, uh, and then the green army, they could use some training, so we're going to let them train as they wait uh, for the uh, ability to do these invasions. Because we got to get control of the, uh, and I, I didn't see how many ships we sunk there, there was a lot. But yeah, we got to get control of the English Channel, guys, both of the skies above it and the sea. They are uh, bombing our ships here now. Uh, let me just take a look see how many bombers they have here. I'm surprised we're not doing a better job of keeping our submarines alive. They have no ships assigned here. And they only have seven bombers, but they have 1,700 fighters, uh, making it damn near impossible for us to gain control of the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take the fighters that are here. Uh, we're going to need to move them. Uh, we need to get more fighters here, because, uh, yeah, we can't gain control of the sky with what we have here. Uh, we're just losing tons of fighters, tons of naval bombers, uh, and uh, our production is just uh, failing us here, man. I thought we were... Uh, I thought we'd do much better in the skies than we have. Uh, overall, our Air Force has always been kind of weak in this series. Uh, it's always kind of been a bit behind, uh, unfortunately. Same thing when we were fighting with the Central Powers. Our Air Force just wasn't there, man. Just wasn't where we needed it. And we are now losing all across this territory now. Well, that's unfortunate. I really thought we'd be able to hold it. Doesn't look like we will be able to, though. Hmm. Let's see how we can do this. I think we're going to lose, man. And they're just not attacking across here. So I've got all these divisions, you know, dedicated to defending this territory, and uh, it's not even necessary. Uh, didn't we send more troops here? Okay, we got these guys going over here, uh, so they're going to join us on that uh, front, uh, but they're, it's, it's going to take them a while to get here. Uh, we do have these divisions here, but I feel like we should protect this island, because this is key. It's got a lot of resources there. Uh, but we might need to move them, uh, because we need, we need more divisions, guys. All right, so let's go and do that. Let's go and get these guys moving over here. I don't know what else to do, man. We need to get, we need more, we need more divisions. Uh, Madagascar, we, we'll go ahead and hold that because there's, they could definitely do naval invasions if they wanted to. Uh, let's take a look, see what the invasion here is. Uh, they're gonna invade into our Caribbean uh, territory, which is 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 fine. Uh, the problem here, though, is once they take that, then they can go and attack us up here in Venezuela, which I'm pretty concerned about. That's why I wanted to get this finished up here. But then the Americans sent so many troops here and made it essentially impossible for us to to finish that. Because uh, there's just too many American divisions in Brazil. However, with every American division that they push into there, that puts them into a worse supply situation. Supply is absolutely garbage there, guys. It is so bad. Uh, they just have uh, yeah, just no supply there. Uh, so let's go and take this guy. I'm going to see if he can't join there. And then we'll pull one of the light cruisers out here. Uh, I know he's in battle, so he probably won't be able to pull out just yet. We'll have to do that after the battle's over. Uh, we did get another submarine here, though. So let's go and get him joining them. Again, just trying to keep my submarine numbers up, but yeah, uh, we just aren't building them quick enough. The Italians lost a the destroyer there. Uh, looks like we're trying to sink uh, some troop convoys there. And yeah, just losing the submarines, man. Uh, Ten more uh, British destroyers sunk there. Eventually, they're going to run out of escorts. Uh, you know, the, the screens, I should say. Uh, so we got a... Okay, we got one division here. Let's go and throw them into this yellow army. Again, just to have them defend here. Uh, they're still attempting to launch these invasions, so we won't have them... Well, we could have them train up, some of them. Oh, most of them need training, don't they? All right, we'll wait then. We'll wait. We'll take the non-aggression packs, though. Yeah, we'll take all these. And you got a convoy sunk there. Excellent. All right, so just uh, trying to wait till uh, February so we can do that invasion. Uh, and we did lose this territory here. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. It does look like we're, we're going to lose it. Uh, yeah, most likely. It does seem like we're going to lose here as well. We'll have to see, though. Uh, we got our national focus completed, though. Let me see. Did we get there in time? So 20 hours away. They got to cross a river, so that's the results in them taking 22 hours. How about these guys here? Four days and five hours. Yeah, we're going to get there before them, so they're going to have to fight us again for that province. Uh, so we got the air focus completed. And so we're going to do the bomber focus next. So get the research bonus for the tactical bombers. And uh, we got a British battleship sunk. Excellent. Two more destroyers. So, yeah, we don't get a lot of their uh, capital ships sunk. So that's, that's very helpful. 
Just make sure they're not attacking across here at all, which I'm not seeing it. And it looks like we have some stuff up here. Uh, so war propaganda, which we don't need to do. So let's just go ahead and say we don't need to be notified of that. And close this since it takes up so much of the damn screen. And then with the military factories, uh, let's go ahead and get this assigned. I'm thinking it's going to have to be towards planes, man. Because uh, we are in, we're just having such shortages. Let's just take a look, see how bad the shortages are for our planes. 144 close air support now, which we didn't have shortages, but we do now because they're now doing the naval bombing. Uh, and 135 for the naval bombers. Uh, fighters is doing okay. Uh, so we won't put it into fighters right now. Let's just put it into uh, close air support and naval bombers. And like all of our factories, any new factories we build, they're going to have to go there. Uh, we do actually need some steel. Okay. Uh, rather than trade for it, and we got plenty of uh, steel provinces that we could still build in. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Just look in here. This is one where we can build up here as well. I thought we'd built up in many of these. Apparently not. All right. So we're just going to get the steel from here. I think that's the best way to do this. All right, yeah, so, oh, we're still building the infrastructure in many of these regions. Okay, so that's why we hadn't finished it. So we're probably still going to get uh, steel from, from uh, some of that inf infrastructure building that we're currently doing. Okay, uh, so not seeing as many, uh, as much bombing here now. Yeah, just simply not as much bombing going. Uh, we did get one of their light cruisers sunk. Looks like that was from our, our fleet coming there. Uh, and you know, getting the convoys sunk that come through here. Okay, uh, so they are attacking us there and losing. We're going to dip back over to Indochina soon because it does seem like that's the only front where we're really doing a lot of fighting in. Uh, so are these guys fighting here? Are they moving? I think they're moving. All right, so let's go and dip over to Indochina make sure we don't lose over here because uh, it does look like that's exactly what's about to happen. I'm surprised that these guys are not doing better uh, given that they still have quite a bit of organization here. When does he get there? He gets there in two days and five hours. We'll take a look at the air situation. Uh, we need to move this division over to here and then have him move over to here. Make sure we hold on to that. Looks like we lost here again, unfortunately. Uh, so did we ever get... Nah, uh, we didn't get anybody over here just yet. Uh, let's take a look at the skies, see how we're doing. So we have no openings here right now. So this is the 400 and 400 and no openings here either. Okay, so we can't move any other planes here. Um, it does look like we're controlling the skies, so that's what's important. But can they reach here? That's the question. Uh, not really, but we have the new air base here. All right, excellent. Let's go and move them up there then. Uh, that'd be pretty helpful. And we can actually move some more planes here if we had them. We don't have them though, of course. And so this will allow us to get better coverage here. Yeah, that should be quite helpful indeed, man. Still about to lose the uh, main city of Hanoi here though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there until oh, four hours. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. What's going on here? Let's move these guys over this way instead. We'll get there in 21 hours. Our control of the sky is really helping us out here. If we lose here, though, soon, then it's not going to matter. They won't be able to reinforce in time. Uh, we did lose there. Damn. Yeah, it does look like we're about to lose all throughout this territory now, guys. All right, so let's go and pull back. I'm going to try and hold on to that there, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to pull back to here now. I'm going to see how this ends up looking. All right, so everybody's going to pull back to these areas here. He's going to stay here. He's going to retreat. He's going to go that way. This guy's going to come here. All right, so he's going that way. Somebody needs to hold this, but we're about to lose the city. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. I can't seem to get it to... Uh... There we go. So we got to go there. Uh, he's going this way. I don't even think we have enough divisions to hold this whole front line that I just gave him. I think it's a, not a very good or very well drawn line actually. We <laughs> need to, to redo it and see if we can't reduce it some. No, we can't. As long as we're trying to hold that city. Alright. Whatever. I think we're going to lose all this and we're going to have to go back to here, which is going to be really unfortunate because yeah, I think this gives them control. It does. Uh, which then takes all that tungsten from us. So that's quite unfortunate. It does look like we're about to get it back though, so we'll see. We'll see if we can't get control of it. They're attacking us across here though, so I don't know. Let's go and attack again, see how that ends up going. Uh, they're not attacking us all along this frontier, so our troops were able to get entrenched. Uh, we should have built uh, fortifications, and you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's make sure we don't lose here. Uh, so we're going to want to fortify up uh, like a bit of territory right here would be key. So let's go and get a fort going there. Uh, see how else we can do this. Where, it's only, where we have to, you know... Depend the least amount of provinces is what I'm thinking. Like fortify up here. And then right here, perhaps. 
Could also go around here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's just tick these up to the top and prioritize them. So hopefully we get those level two forts uh, finished building. Let's see how that ends up going, guys. All right, so yeah, we did take the city back. Yeah, I kind of wish we had fortified all this up, guys. That would have been so helpful. If we had fortified all this up beforehand. But uh, yeah, we did it. Uh, we did get control of that again. Let me just see, uh, make sure there's no problems with resources. There's not. Uh, so this division's gonna go back into this yellow army here. And we've done a ton of attacks over here, and this is where we're going to go ahead and leave this off, guys. We are into December now. Let's see where we're at on getting that tech real quick, because uh, that is key. 80 days uh, to get the landing craft tech so we can launch multiple invasions, and, and that gives us plenty of time to focus on getting the uh, uh, common turn navy destroyed, because right now I don't even know if we can do the invasions. It's really hard to say. Uh, they still got a lot of uh, ships out here, and we most definitely don't have control of the skies. Yeah, they're, they're shooting a ton of our planes down. All right, they haven't sunk any of our ships over here other than the submarines, though. I thought we'd take less submarine losses that I, now that I put the, the whole uh, task force there, the large task force there, but that has not been the case, unfortunately. Uh, over here, these guys are incredibly weak because of all the attrition they're taking. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they're just going to get weaker and weaker. Uh, you notice we are not taking attrition, so... Overall, this is actually a good drain on resources for them. The problem, of course, is that, you know, we can't... Uh, we can't, you know, defend this territory up here, which is a real issue uh, if, the, if the Americans decide to launch invasions into uh, Venezuela. Uh, so that's that's something I'm kind of worried about. Uh, we do have a dockyard to get assigned. Let's go ahead and get this, well, let's figure out and see what we built. We do need to get the new carriers, but we got to wait until we, we get the Josephine done, uh, which will be done in 14th of February, 1945. So we almost have it done. Uh, I don't want to pull back on all the, the other stuff we're building here because, frankly, uh, we need a lot of these. We need a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and put into the torpedo destroyers. I think that's going to be pretty useful. And because uh, they're running out of screens, so that's going to help us sink all their capital ships. And we need more steel, but that's right. We're getting the infrastructure, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, these guys are done. Uh, so we can go ahead and throw them into an army. Uh, this blue army now can have a total of 30 divisions because we have the skilled staffer. Uh, so what we could do is throw him over there. I know the purple army is also lacking divisions, guys, but uh, they're the defensive army, so I'd rather give him to that more offensive-minded army. Bye. Green army's full 24 divisions, though, so that's good. Uh, and then the red army is full 24 as well. And those two armies are the ones we're going to use for the invasion of the British. And you can see they have 13 divisions here. There's none over here. I wonder if we should just launch that invasion if they're ready. Let's just take a look. Uh, they're currently still kind of training up, so you'd have to like stop them from training to be able to take a look at it. Yeah, we don't have control anyway, uh, so we won't be able to do it. Not yet. We need to get control of the uh, sea there before we're going to be able to launch that invasion. All right, so the real problem here, the real problem in our conflict right now is here in Indochina, guys. We are having some serious issues here. We can't even defend all this territory. Um, what I might do is go and have this guy go here, and then this guy can instead retreat over that way. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, a bit concerning, guys. We don't... Um, and we're nowhere near close enough to uh, defending uh, this this territory here. It does look like we're going to lose it, guys. Uh, they're attacking us there in the city. Yeah, I, I just don't know if we're going to be able to win here uh, overall. Uh, now, we are getting help from the Japanese. They're starting to bring troops up, or they were bringing troops up. I don't know what they're doing, uh, but uh, they are helping us, so that's useful. Now, I don't know why we're still getting the, the notification here about this invasion, which has already happened. So I'm not entirely sure... Yeah, why we're still getting a notification about it when they've already launched it and succeeded. I guess they probably have still have one set up, you know, plan there. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. Uh, next episode, we should end up doing the invasion here. Uh, again, I don't know if we'll be able to win there or not. It's really hard to say. We don't even know how many divisions they have. Uh, they currently have. Yeah, we can't even see the, the number of divisions they have. At the very least, though, they'll run out of manpower if we kill enough of them. So... There's that. Remember, we do have kind of cruddy divisions here, so that's something to consider. Uh, our divisions aren't aren't great here. Uh, so we'll have to see if we can win there, but I really want to attack into all this eastern territory here and just get Africa done with. And then we can take the divisions that are here, send half of them over here, and then half of them over here. And remember, we're building many, many more divisions as well. Uh, we got all sorts of, of divisions trained up right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a... Well, we'll hold up... <laughs> Before I do that, let's take a look at the casualties, guys. Uh, so we've taken 66,000 casualties now. 
uh, 21,000 against the Iberians. Uh, the British, we have killed 911,000. Uh, the Soviets, we have killed 980,000. Uh, we've killed uh, 5,000 Brazilians. Let's see who else. Uh, 15,000 against Ethiopia. Let's see who else we've killed a lot of. Uh, 28,000 here. Uh, 32,000. The Chinese, we've killed. Oh, we're not even on here, are we? Nope, not even on there. Uh, same thing with the Mexicans. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we've killed uh, 78,000 of the Mexicans. Uh, 58,000. Uh, 46,000 there. Uh, Communist China, we've killed uh, 18,000. Uh, 11,000. And then here's the big one the Americans. We've only killed 52,000 Americans. Uh, that's it. Uh, but still, not too bad for really only fighting them in Brazil. That's about it. That's the only theater that we're really fighting them in. Of course, we are bombing their troops as well. Uh, so, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.